they were certainly getting more and more lifelike. I can be your reality. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best looking games of the seventh generation. For this list, we're looking at what we consider to be the best looking games released throughout the seventh generation, meaning anything released on the Wii, <laughs> Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, or PC up to 2013. We're basing our picks solely on a game's graphical capabilities. We're also excluding remasters and mods. It's gotta be original. Mm, hi, baby girl. Number 10, Killzone 3. The day each vision became a reality! Released exclusively for the PlayStation 3, Killzone 3 acts as the third entry in the FPS series if you're not counting the PSP spinoff. The graphics packed a powerful wallop. Never before had a Killzone game looked so beautiful and perfect, and it was subsequently praised for its stellar graphics. As our bodies lie broken in our streets, we are once again reminded of the depths of their depravity. The game is also presented in stereoscopic 3D, meaning anyone with a 3D TV, there's gotta be one of you, could play the game in all of its three-dimensional glory, effectively putting you right in the thick of the action. Sure, that buttery smooth frame rate will be sacrificed in favor of that extra dimension, but it's still nice to get some of that money you put into that 3D TV, am I right? Am I the only person here who's not part of this archaic thinking? Number nine, Bioshock Infinite. Sure, there are certainly more realistic looking games out there, but nothing beats the sheer majesty of gazing upon Columbia for the first time as you sail weightlessly above the clouds. Hallelujah. The game's colors pop with startling clarity, and many of the set pieces are detailed, extravagant, and absolutely awe-inspiring to absorb. Irrational games have an innate ability to transport players to other worlds, and their talents are on full display in this one. Columbia feels like a real place, and we love every moment that we're able to spend in it, even if we're forced to kill a few hundred people in between the beautiful locales. Stop him! Stop him! The false shepherds come to lead our lamb astray! Number 8, Tomb Raider. I finally set out to make my mark. Find adventure. Well, we can certainly say without hesitation that Lara Croft looks better than she did before. This reboot of the classic video game series sees a young and inexperienced Lara stumble upon an island off of Japan, and the scenery that that island provides can leave the player breathless. From gigantic shipwrecks to burning villages, the settings are always amazing and always gorgeous. The characters themselves also look great, most notably Lara herself. Her facial expressions in cutscenes are always discernible, and even her movements throughout the game are realistic and fluid. Never before has raiding tombs or shooting an arrow through someone's eyeball looked so good. Number 7, Halo 4. She said that to me once. About being a machine. While many fans were wary of 343 Studios' first attempt at a Halo game, not only was the final product itself a worthy addition to the series, but the graphics were also fantastic. Character models looked fluid, and Master Chief received a visual overhaul, giving more weight to his signature green armor. On top of that, 343 got some help with their cutscenes by the folks at Blur Studio, allowing for really realistic looking FMV sequences in between the bombastic action. But perhaps the best addition to the game was the Prometheans. Their orange neon glow gave the game an artistic edge, and their contrast with the dark settings helped boost the game's futuristic vision and dystopic tone. Well, he's just a ray of sunshine, isn't he? Number six, Metro Last Light. Go right. There's a dead end on the left. Something alarms them. Stay sharp. Metro Last Light is set in a post-apocalyptic Moscow after atomic bombs destroyed the city, and the game perfectly captures the sense of dread and fear that would come with such a setting. Okay. 
The visuals are breathtaking to behold, whether you're exploring the dark and damp underground tunnels of Moscow or fighting enemies above ground amidst the ruins of the city. This all helps to immerse players in the game's dark and imposing atmosphere, something which may be not so welcome when you're surrounded by things that want to eat your face. Number 5. Uncharted 3 – Drake's Deception I'll need to authenticate it. Of course. Naughty Dog certainly knows how to make a stellar-looking video game, and this third installment of the continuously praised Uncharted series provides that in spades. One of the best things about these games are the stunning locations, and Drake's Deception has plenty of memorable set pieces. Whether it's wandering the vast Rubalcali desert in search of water, walking the crowded streets of Colombia, or holding on for dear life as a cargo plane explodes all around you, the game is always up to the arduous visual task. This series is often compared to high-budget Hollywood blockbusters, and with detailed and lifelike graphics like these, we can certainly see why. Number 4. Grand Theft Auto 5 She f***ed a brick in my bed. <laughs> Bullshitting. It wasn't like that. You in? F*** it, I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this mo- Don't kill him! Coming in at the end of the seventh generation of consoles, this game certainly pushed the 360 and PS3 to their limits. However, we can say without a doubt that this game is a visual masterpiece. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? Los Santos is massive and intricately detailed, ranging from the bustling and dense city to the sprawling North California desert to the rocky edges of the Pacific coast. The lighting effects are also top-notch. There's nothing quite like witnessing a Los Santos sunset over the calm blue ocean. Plus, we're taking you out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. Never before in a video game has a city looked this good, this busy, and this detailed. To think that this was all accomplished on the seventh generation hardware is simply mind-boggling. Who gave this fool a license? Number 3. The Last of Us You mumble in your sleep. I hate bad dreams. Here we visit Naughty Dog again, this time in a slightly darker and more depressing experience. That's not to say that this causes the game to suffer in any way, as the experience it provides the players is unforgettable. Okay. Character models are beautifully rendered as Joel and Ellie come to vivid life helping players connect with them on an emotional level. The world of The Last of Us is also a beautiful depiction of decay, featuring realistic visions of what a neglected city would look like, including toppled buildings and greenery in the city streets. You can't deny the view, though. There's no denying that the game presents us with a harsh, ugly, and uncompromising world, but that's part of the graphical magic. <sighs> Number 2, Battlefield 4. Get your guys up on that roof. Don't keep me waiting. While some still complain about the game's constant crashing upon release, there's no denying that it looks marvelous and beautifully chaotic when it's working. I spotted a hostile soldier. <laughs> Perhaps what the game is most well known for are its destructible environments, and for good reason. The Frostbite engine allows for an amount of scope and destructibility that few other games can even contend with. On top of that, there's also the Levolution effects, which, while not dynamic, are still amazing set pieces to witness in a multiplayer game. There's simply nothing quite like watching a skyscraper topple to the ground, throwing shards of glass and debris in every direction as a 9-11 style dust cloud envelops your field of vision. There's a lot of detail in this game, and it comes across as natural and engaging. Eyes open, Wrecker. Relax, Pack. These are hardly bad guys. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang, and then another. Number one, Crisis 3. 
the city has an energy signature. Why is that? This third and final installment of the Crisis Trilogy blended the foresty environments of the first game and the urban setting of the second game to create an unparalleled visual experience. Back! Get back! Facial animations are top-notch, water flows naturally, and the environments are simply stunning. And come on, look at that grass! Although the first Crisis was famous for melting PCs, by the time the CryEngine 3 rolled around, Crytek seemed to have found an engine that allowed them the graphical fidelity that gamers had come to expect, but this time at frame rates that could still be enjoyed by a wider audience. Watch this. Do you agree with our list? You've got no sense of drama. What seventh generation game do you think had the best graphics? Elizabeth. Hello. Oh, this is wonderful. Well, come dance with me, Mr. Twain. I don't dance. Come on, let's go. For more thrilling top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Before this is all over, promise me you'll figure out which one of us is the machine.